Hello, I'm Ron Johnson, introducing another edition of the STEM Video Magazine. Today you'll hear from Cheryl Sizelove, who took her passion for mathematics and helped create a software simulation package for America's Space Shuttle. Oh, writing software is uh, a lot of fun. I'm sure a lot of folks probably listening to this today uh, understand that and love to write software. I went to uh, Cal State University Long Beach for my undergraduate. I have a uh, bachelor's in mathematics. I was in advanced uh, math classes, so I was always in the accelerated classes, so I did very well. Counselors told me I should be a mathematician, an engineer, or an accountant. But uh, believe it or not, I liked home economics. So I took some math, physics, and I took home economics and actually got the award for the outstanding student from Bank of America in home economics when I graduated from high school. I wanted something very challenging in my work environment and uh, decided, gosh, maybe I'd go back and try the math and, and got great grades in mathematics and loved it and here I am today. You're not uh, stuck with just working with numbers like an accountant. I mean, the, the projects that Boeing has, the things that we do in this company are just amazing. Everything from Space Shuttle, which was my first project, all the way to satellites. Working on the Space Shuttle and in a simulation environment, we had the, a mock-up of a full-scale Space Shuttle. But what I worked on was the graphics and producing the graphics of, uh, that the astronauts would see out the front window of the space shuttle. So that's not very far from the games that they play today, right? So we had to provide different images, um, what it would look like landing on a runway, uh, very much like writing software for games or playing with games, but then actually taking that to a very uh, technical uh, environment, a very technology-oriented product, the space shuttle. When they come in with that skill and that they feel very comfortable in that environment, but then they also have opportunities for learning and growing and, and taking it to that next level and being able to apply those skills that they do have with the computers and, and writing some software, but applying that to challenging programs like satellites and, and airplanes and missiles and weapons and technology. If you're thinking about math and science and technology and you like uh, gadgetry and playing with numbers, um, science in general, uh, the world is just open to you. There's just so many opportunities, so take advantage of it. <laughs>